Well, you ordered it and you need it, but it still hasn't arrived. The supply chain delay is causing a lot of problems, as we know, and President Joe Biden's move to expand operations at ports in California might not be enough. City leaders working with government officials to see what they can do to better our infrastructure. 13 Action News reporter Abel Garcia is near I-15 and he shares the importance this highway has on our economy. Abel. Yeah, good evening, Todd and Trisha. Mayor Goodman tells me the expanding of hours will help, but she says if I-15 from Barso, California to Nevada state line continues to look like this, we can continue to experience a delay in the shipping of our goods. And to get to the routes through the rest of the country, it has to pass through I-15 and Southern Nevada. When it comes to the shipping of goods, Southern Nevada plays an important role. The I-15 serving as a critical artery for distribution. And it normally, on a day coming here from L.A., if you're a normal driver, it's three and a half, four hours. Two weeks ago, because they were back, nine hours to return. Goodman says the reason why is a stretch from Barstow, California to Nevada state line. Currently, there are only two lanes on each side. She says at the very least, we need three to allow these trucks to get through faster. We don't have the roadway, and now we're gonna have all these trucks with all these goods that are unloaded. I-15 is the artery for Southern Nevada. It really is, you know, when, when you look at Nevada as a whole, that is the artery of the economy for the entire Silver State. President of the Nevada Trucking Association, Paul Eno, says when our nation's infrastructure is not properly built for distribution, truck drivers' jobs get harder. We don't necessarily think about the entire network that we all rely on to get those groceries to our store so shelves, to get medicine to hospitals, to get raw materials to construction and manufacturing facilities. He says if we don't take action on a federal level, these shortages and delays in Southern Nevada will lead to a rise in the cost of goods. Nevada's done a good job of addressing that problem. We need our colleagues in the Golden State, our, our, our friends over there, to realize that yes, I-15, while it's not a big deal for them, it absolutely is a big deal to the residents of Nevada and Utah. Enos tells me as a nation, we need to take critical action and work on our infrastructure in order for these items to arrive in a timely manner. Abel Garcia, 13 Action News.